Hey, Gazu Gazu Zimja from Reactive here, and welcome back to our Let's Play series of Renowned Explorers International Society. And we are continuing where we left off. This is where really the game does start. The previous episode was pretty much a tutorial, it's just showing out how the game works and such. So, this is the main screen where you start off. If you look there, one completed expedition and four left. Four left, well, sorry, four expeditions left until well whichever is the best explorer gets crowned the world's best explorer pretty much that's it um these are probably upgrade meters and we will go and upgrade it there we'll just go through the user interface just for a bit um yes this is a resolve there at the end of that expedition we did get plus three extra supplies which was good so we'll just quickly go and take a look around and stuff like that so let's go open him up uh, rogue and engineer and it says he can be upgraded I don't exactly know how to upgrade him or he just gets upgraded straight away I'm guessing this is the crew slots type stuff spirit of course that is the health if we check Victor here I'm not sure how you're going to upgrade I'm getting wait maybe this is actually it and this is just defining the stats and I think that's just accumulated through doing events and stuff inside the game so we can actually go and choose what training we want Victor to receive. So this adds tactician in terms of weapons expert. Well, he's a tactician, so he can get weapons expert. Okay, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what that does. Peace treaty, attitude. Okay, so this seems like it is a new ability. Um, it is friendly. 50 times speed, so that can be pretty good. Um, it's oh, and it looks like it has a range on it as well, but it has a cooldown of four turns. They become excited if it is positive, giving them plus 25 speech. Okay, so those are extra effects, making it more effective on your teammates. Adds three friendly to the mood. It's, it's insanely good, that's what it looks like. Adds a buff that gives the effective. Okay, so minus 20 attack, so that's what it does. Um, not something that you would want to do with a um, physical character. Perk upgrade, this training can be done. Okay, um, diplomat, adds a diplomat, politics perk, tactician weapons expert. Since we do want this guy to be like our aggressive dude, I think we are going to continue with putting in the weapons expert perk. Um, unlocks, yeah, and it just goes and adds it. Okay, so we can see what it does here. So this is what it changes. So plus one to attack, points increase in damage done, of course. And this increases our arm and it also increases our health. But if we were to do this, puts more into speech and into speech defense. But again, our dude is he's a heavy hitter. He's a he's that type of person. So we will go and put that in. So we'll unlock that. Now he's got even more stuff, and that's fantastic. Now we just need to go look at the rest of the dudes here. We can choose this. This adds an engineer for that. And the rogue as in stealing. Because he has two different stats. So Amnesia Shot. This is uncertain, so it doesn't really change the mood of the battle, though. Um, ability is blocked by crew members. Okay, so that's good. Only the first target in line is affected. Okay. Understandable. Adds a buff that gives the target minus 15 armor, minus 20 speech defense, and minus 20 grit for one turn. Removes one point from attitude, opposing the current one. This ability does not increase the aggro of the affected unit. Huh. So I get that ability regardless of what I choose. I think I want my dude to more be of the engineering type instead of the rogue. Even though stealing would be cool. And hit an additional target plus 25 power. I I'm thinking that being an engineer will be sick, so I will do that. Um, That just puts more into grit, um, dodging and stuff, but... It's it's not really necessary since I want to put this dude in the back to the rear of the offensive that's how I would like the dude to be so that's how he will be he's now an engineer we've still got Kwame the garden to work out here um becomes diplomat well diplomat um quick thinker quick thinker I think quick thinker will be something that we should put into speech and grit um or speech defense I think Quick Thinker would be good. So, cheer 100% boost to speech. Woo! That is quite strong there. 
Target becomes excited, plus an extra 25% speech, heals an ally, and makes them significantly more positive. Seems like OP to me. Fair up. It'd be awesome if you get to keep these upgrades, like after you do go and finish your set of expeditions to start the next game. So we will do quick thinker, that's what we do want. There we go. So all of our characters here, they are upgraded. Let's go check out London. Oh, there's jobs. Paris campaigning, Berlin and stuff. Entourage, um, we'll just ignore that for a bit. Each secret token. Oh, that, that seems good. Status, um, reflects how much influence you, your explorers make, spend in circles. Use it to attract an entourage or gain access to special inventory. Okay. Spend research to write research papers. Okay. What would we be looking to get? Start every expedition with one extra tool, which can be used to improve your chances on the venture wheel. Gain one insight every time. What does insight do? Uh, okay, no. Chronicles, that just gives more resolve. Uh, tales to tell, plus 20. Oh, that, that could possibly be good. Fame and fortune. Ooh. Yes. Now that looks like it can be really good. I'm not sure what the venture is. Complete two expeditions. Okay, so that's understandable. Um, if I could do some of these, I would. But I think I have to click that to unlock it first. Choose this tree if you want stronger characters and gain more from an encounter. Choose this tree if you want to gain more resource from expeditions and jobs. No. I want to gain more from encounters because I think that's what we're going to be doing quite a bit. So starting this project, we'll unlock plus four to six research from encounters okay complete no research in this tree but in this project we'll unlock plus 50 stat gains from perks that seems really good strong characters why not um what why can i not click on that how do i unlock it um is that it maybe it's just unlocked until a certain point it seems like it is, so I'm sorry about that, guys. Manage your crew and the inventory. Okay, this is a standard that will be selecting the items. Um, leather vest or an item there, but we have nothing to do with that. Doesn't seem like it. No, doesn't. Maybe if we drag that, no. Okay, it just doesn't seem like it. Okay, um, let's go check London lecturing. London lecturing performing a job costs one inside select a crew member to perform a job Okay, and Guessing that gets some better stuff. I'm not sure Paris campaigning Performing a job costs one insight. Okay Okay, so this seems like a boost up status Okay Understandable. So that's something that we could do, but we want renown, which is over here. Um, let's see Berlin University. What will this oh I can't believe I clicked on that. Well, this is research. So that that is that's cool. Well, um that, that was a mistake, but fine, whatever. Wait, did that say plus next cost 10 research? Maybe we could jump for some research quickly. Hmm. But I should have actually done it with him. So we will do it with him. We've got plus four research. We can actually go put something in here. Unlock Chronicles, which we will do, which in turn goes and boosts our research. We wanted to do this. How much would it cost? Okay, that's plus 20. That's unfortunate. Um, I would definitely love to do this because plus 25 gold and status from encounters, which is good. Um, ne well, this is shop, so I'm guessing this is where you go and buy stuff. Monkey wrenches and stuff. I think we'll just leave our dude, well, our dudes with the stuff that they have at the moment. Entourage, entourage, whatever. Um, each lobbyist gives you plus, yeah, from campaign. Um, merchant from gold. Research from study. So these are generally just upgrades. Upgrade the shop to level 2 to unlock new specialists and helpers. Okay. BG Hunter. Gain an extra 1. Collect a few results. I think we'll just leave it here. And I think leave it there. Um, is there anything else? Expect treasures that we have there. 
That, okay, so this goes and increases our now. That's why we want to go and collect treasures. Review your entourage that we've got none. Uh, view the latest explore newspaper. Okay. Um, excited about the progress. So this is what it is. We have to get above 2,000 in order for us to become the most renowned explorer. That, I think, is to win the game. Um, and that's what we'll be doing. So, um, I think let's hop right into our next expedition. So we could go best expedition equipment stockholm here you can acquire an entourage okay so that's that oh, i think that's just the stuff there i think that's just it okay so we'll go in another expedition that's a hungarian fort that's level two hardness icelandic isles or the caribbean island hungarian fort or the caribbean islands I think the Caribbean Islands will be sick. I wonder what treasures we can acquire there. So let's hop right in. Uh, the one sphere's Dutch pirate Roch disappeared many years ago after burying his pirate treasure. Monkeys and spugs. Smugglers will oppose you, and an aggressive approach could make it easier. Oh, this is this is our type of thing. Expect a nature challenge and technique challenge in abundance. There is a lot of study, well, a lot to study for research. Oh, oh yes, let's launch that expedition. A known expedition. Finally, you can start your search for Roch's treasure. The treasure once stolen from the Spanish silver fleet should be somewhere on this pristine and beautiful island. Victor looks at the map you got from Pinkerton to find out where, a place near a waterfall. Ooh. Oh, this seems cool. Camp. The crew sets foot on the beautiful island and looks around. Just when Victor finds some man-made debris and realizes this island is not as uninhabited as you first thought, you've got company. Smugglers, they come rushing towards you. Our secret island has been discovered. We've got to silence them, mates. Seems they will leave you with no choice. Ooh, so ready, our first encounter. So it was a good thing that we actually did go and pick up that research there. Um, okay, it doesn't really change anything. Okay, that's good. Because I kind of clicked straight away past that. So they take an aggressive approach, and I'm going to take the devious approach for the extra damage and such. This is just an uncertain thing. Um, could, no. Oh, 75% time speed. Okay, so that's actually the damage. Never mind, my mistake. Sorry, I did make that mistake. Um, and it becomes standard. Let's make them sad. Seems really mean. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, that, that image there. I uh, will just leave that. What? Okay, yep. Yeah. Right click for getting things straight away. Uh, peace treaty. No, we won't do that. We want to go straight with being aggressive. We want to do a bit of a mix. Oh, insta kill got straight away wrecked, so that's good. Um, you could possibly go and boost up our friend here. Um, Devious Tugger becomes terrified. Ooh. Ooh. But I want to cheer the person on. I see why not. I don't see anything bad coming from that. Okay, so let's go and end the turn. We've gained plus 25 grit, which is good. Oh, no. Ooh, half health already. Oh, my word. No. Defend yourself. Oh, my. Flip. These people are strong. This isn't very good. Good. Well, we can go and eliminate this person over here, so we'll go with aggressive tactics now. There we go. I'll say eliminated. Quite good. So this person is now dead, which makes it top. Um, devious abilities. Fuel to the fire. Ooh, so plus 25 power if we use devious abilities. But I would actually like you to go and heal your mate there, please. Yes! Healed up. Power up, power up. Yes, okay, good, sir. Um, devious up plus 25%, so that is 100%. I think that does quite a bit of damage there. I think. <laughs> no. I'm kind of scared about that now. Because I swear I just made a mistake. <laughs> okay, what we'll have to do is get our dude across. Okay, fantastic, so I was able to do it. We'll just go with our attack here. Done. Done and dusted. Totally sorted. 
Okay, so we've got the aggressive thing. You dominated the opponents here. You've earned this by resolving the counter. You gain plus two encounter. Perkins. Um, research status renowned. Yes. And the researchers, it's awesome. Um, oh, that was not good. I'm sorry. We're stronger than I thought. Resolve a conflict aggressively only lasts for this expedition. It seems like you were quite a happy chappy about that. Ooh. The garden was happy. With the smugglers out of the way, your crew has enough time to hide the boat and to start exploring the island. Sadly, it seems that this island is a smuggler's hideout. Be better be careful. Ready to go, Victor leads leads to crew into leads the crew into adventure. Ooh, ooh, this seems like there might be a encounter there. I think I want to take a quite a good route here. Just cut straight B line for the treasure. But I do want to get into some encounter. You serious of these monkeys? Victor hears something rustling in some of the trees. You immediately think of monkeys, but all of a sudden, two smugglers carrying bananas come descending down the trees. One tells the other, We're sure to get an extra portion of coconuts if we deliver them to the boss. Victor becomes agitated since only being worth an extra portion of coconuts isn't flattering at all. Notices a bunch of bananas, needing only a little push to fall. Ooh. So this is good. Oh, so that just don't work. Fine. Fine. Don't care. Fine. Be like that. Sure. Okay, um, this is it. We're in the bow. There's there's a few smugglers there. There's a dude hiding behind the tree there. Um, I think we would want to go and tackle these people first. Get them out of the way as soon as possible. With our aggressive tactics. I don't know why that person has negative health. Maybe it had something to do with the event. Like the armor drop or something. I thought that would have insta killed you. What? No. Okay, then aggressive tactics with you. Well, there, you, you're dead now, so that's chill. And I'll just stick Quine um, at the back just to go and heal, make people positive and such. There we go. Making them happy chappies. Okay, so this person's gonna run up. Um, try and take me down. Uh, it didn't work so well for them, so that was good. Um, and actually, wait, you can actually- Oh, Flip, you have a gun. No, that's my word. No. Oh, no, another gun. Oh. Not digging guns. What? Why can't we have a gun? Why? Would I want you? No, I think- Oh, yes. I know how to sort this one out. Okay, so we'll select you. Take you off. That's, that's what I'll do. Then I'll move up this dude. And I'll get him to attack her for maximum damage. Oh, so that ends the kill. I don't know why. But it did. Um, I suspect this dude will be the first target, so we'll just go and pop ourselves the healing ability there. Go heal up, my friend. Thank you. In turn. Oh wait, you're trying to navigate- Oh, see, I was correct, that was correct. Even though you took insane amounts of da- Oh, oh at least I'll do you can come around, so that's good. Let's go, um, full on attack. And, oh, insta kill. Sorry, my friend. I'm a digging the French dude, he's cool. So what do we get? You're a happy chappy, extra armor, plus two attack, or Victory is mine, my strength knows no bounds. It's, it's absolutely perfect. Um, gain two encounter points. That's exactly what we need. Um, tokens also give small amounts of renown. I know. Okay. Apologies where the explorers here take up bananas as an apology. See? Oh, yes. Uh, so what does this do? Collect tokens. So it gives me gold and it gives some renown. So that's good. Um, but sadly, guys, that is the end of the episode here. I hope you all did enjoy this episode. Um... Yeah, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's always helpful and it's, it's awesome. It shows me that you care. Um, also, if you could slap down a like. That's if you did enjoy this episode. I'm not forcing anybody. I'm not, I'm not as aggressive as my people in the game, so it's okay. Um, also, if you could put down a comment so I could know how you feel about the series. If you're liking the way it's going, at the pace it is, and if it is good or not. And... It's just always lovely to know. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace out.